All right, we have we have a pretty heavy clash here in the Western Conference Finals. I think I was dabbling between having the Vegas Golden Knights or the Edmonton Oilers playing against the Avalanche in the Western Conference Finals. And so now that, you know, Vegas ended up getting there and not Edmonton, which was pretty, you know, that's a pretty disappointing ending to their season, which I'll probably talk about that later. Um, we have the Dallas Stars that have absolutely come out of nowhere. Now Dallas fans probably won't think that. They're like, hey, we've been playing great hockey all season, which they have. I will give them that. But man, we have something, you know, cooking here where the Dallas Stars are one of those teams where grit and grind, they do not go away. And what kind of intrigues me is I'm looking at it and it's like, we're going to have a Florida Panthers versus Dallas Stars Stanley Cup final. One of the, you know, two small market teams, not one of those big original six or, you know, nope, nope, Stars and Panthers. But that, eh, who's to say that probably won't happen. But um, uh, that that's one of the things that stands out to me the most is like this Dallas team. They will not go away, even if they go down three two. If they go down three one, they're gonna make it a series. They played tough against the Kraken. And to make this kind of quicker and sum it up for this series as a whole, I think um, obviously you got to rely on your captain for the Stars. He's been able to lead this group, and he's been able to get the boys going after tough losses. But you got to rely on that backstop. And right now as it sits, and maybe I'm just, you know, personal bias or something, and how much the media loves him. Yeah, Jay Cottinger, right? Such a dumbass. i got to double check that I'm pronouncing it right. Something about uh, Dallas Stars goalies and the media loving him. First it was Dobby back in the bubble, and now it's Ottinger. Man, they love this dude, and they're following him. And even, you know, in the Kraken series, as you saw it, he was pulled a few times for Wedgwood, and then Wedgwood would go in. Which I remember watching Wedgwood uh, when he was on the Coyotes, and I went to the Penguins game, and man, our, my section was giving him the fits. We were like Wedgie, you know, and we were just making fun of him the whole time. <laughs> hey Wedgie, your mom made great steak and potatoes last night. <laughs> Which, what's up, dude? For the Vegas Golden Knights, um, some things that I think that they need to take advantage of if they want to win this series is. They can't give up games at home. Like, they got to be able to capture, you know, they have uh, home ice, if I'm not mistaken. They have a better, uh, let me double check, hold on. You know, the old saying goes is once a away team wins a game, we have a series on our hands. And I can see, just because of how flat some of the Golden Knight series have started out, I can see Dallas sneaking game one. And then we go, oh crap, here we go. But then also, um, I do think the team that's able to capture and steal a win on the road or two will definitely have the upper hand in this series. And that's not to say that, you know, they'll steal one on the road and then their opponents will steal one on the road. Um, but I can kind of feel like this will be a game six on the road winner, which would mean, you know, Vegas wins it because they have game seven. Because the away teams have owned this series. They have such a great record on the road. That new addition, Jack Eichel, he's been tearing it up. So I think he will be a big key in them moving on as well. But then but then second on the team in points, you got to rely on old reliable. You know, trust in Mark Stone, trust in the captain to get his guys going if they get down, you know, 2-1 in this series or something like that. I'm going to just say right now I'm picking Vegas in this series, but not in the way of, oh, Vegas, you know, they're going to overmatch them. They're going to beat them 5-1, you know, sweep them 4-0. No, no, no. This is going to be a grit and grind. This is going to be a tight contested series. Hockey's magical sport. We saw the Panthers upset the Bruins after being down 3-1. So it's not over until it's absolutely over. I would say this series goes six, and if not six, seven. There will probably be an overtime or two, you know, a little bit of drama. Probably some, you know, blown kisses at the end, you know, after a scrum, after one team's been blown out or something like that. But this is going to be a good series, hopefully. So I'm going to take my safe pick, sort of, and just roll with the Knights. Trusting them to represent the West moving on to the Stanley Cup final.